And in this moment in history, we can't be silent. We must speak up for our brothers and sisters, for our sons and daughters. We are a team, black, white, brown. Together, we are a family. We are brothers. We represent ourselves, our families, our hometowns, our university, and our country. This is the Alabama Crimson Tide. Carbon Hill Mayor Mark Chambers made a Facebook post Monday. And this former mayor does not support them. We speak for justice, for fairness, for equality, for greater understanding. We stand together against racism. Banding together as a team. Against brutality. Against violence. For a better world. To support Black Lives Mattering. In the game, we are one team. One heartbeat, one mission. We learn so much from each other. And we are so much better together. Until I listen with an open heart and mind, I can't understand his experience and his pain. Let's introduce Mark Chambers. He held the position of mayor in Carbon Hill, Alabama, and he is quite the hateful kind. When Alabama's football team, the fourth most profitable program in all of college football as of 2019, posted a video with those three simple words, those three simple words, by the way, that the vice president can't say. So you won't say Black Lives Matter. John, I really believe that all lives matter. Oh boy, the locals in Alabama were pissed, like Mark Chambers, who posted on Facebook, I got several pictures for sale. Nick Saban, name spelled incorrectly, you effing coward. And the Crimson Tide is done, in my opinion. I'll post them tomorrow. Underneath another comment, he wrote, I'm not getting rid of them because of how they have performed. Their sorry-ass political views is why they're getting out of my house. And of course, the cherry on top. When you post black lives before all lives, they can kiss my ass. Chambers, a racist, heavily promoted the all lives matter mantra. Let's help Mark understand this coding that even children could understand. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, this house is on fire, so we're gonna go help them. We're gonna go put out the fire. Well, what about my house? What? What about my house? Doesn't it matter? Is, is your house on fire? No but like, it still matters. Nobody said that it didn't. It's just that this house is on fire and people's lives are at stake if we don't do something about it. <laughs> okay, all houses matter. Or even another example. This is gonna be delicious, I can tell you that much. Oh, oh, big oh, one. oh. oh. Stop it. and there you go. Um, excuse me, where's my plate? You don't get a plate. Why not? It doesn't matter. Um, my plate matters. Hey, all plates matter. Oh, yeah, of course they do. I'm just saying, where's my plate? Are you saying your plate matters more than mine? Yeah, my plate matters too. It's really rich hearing all lives matter coming from this guy. Mark Chambers, now unemployed. Chambers posted previously on Facebook, we live in a society where homosexuals lecture us on morals, transvestites lecture us on human biology, baby killers lecture us on human rights, and socialists lecture us on economics. Responding to another comment, Chambers wrote right underneath it, the only way to change it would be to kill the problem out. I know it's bad to say, but without killing them out, there's no way to fix it. He cried foul giving one lame excuse after another. When a reporter reached him, Brittany Dion, he hung up, then called her back, claiming it was taken out of context, then said its initial way of messaging was supposed to be in private, not for public consumption. The Republican Party in modern day format, represented by Mark Chambers.